This Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Frank Rigby. I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts. and keep 
from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus' mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him because of the crowd, and he was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to see you. But Jesus said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Sacred Heart Church, uh, the First Nation has decided it will remain closed now for only the people of the First Nation. So anybody who might be going to Sacred Heart, um, if you're not a member of the First Nation, you are not permitted to during this uh, COVID uh, time. And that includes the people residing on the Bahami properties, they are not allowed to enter either. So there is um, strict measures in place with the First Nation, so Sacred Heart remains closed, but it is open for members of the First Nation on the First Nation property. Jesus said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. This is very simple for us to be living as the family of Jesus, as close associates and even his family. It means we just have to listen to the Word of God and do it. It sounds simple, but we know it is never easy uh, to do good. That's why we must be instructed. That's why we must be formed in our conscience and formed in the scriptures uh, to do what is good, what is expected uh, of, of a disciple. We are now going through the book of Proverbs, a set of aphorisms, a set of small little sayings, short and pithy sayings that are, of course, containing the law of God. They express how we can do the will of God. And so our job then is to listen and to do what God asks of us. We can go through a few of these aphorisms. They're one-liners, you might say, that are unrelated and they are listed, of course, in the great book of Proverbs. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord he turns it wherever he will. If I am Donald Trump, Justin Trudeau, Vladimir Putin, I am just putty in the hands of God. As we learn in this aphorism, everything is, in fact, in God's hands. In the Old Testament, they were thinking of kings like Nebuchadnezzar, who inflicted instruction on the people, or kings like Cyrus, a very good king in Persia, he restored the people back to the promised land. But these kings, these powerful men, are just flowing water in the hands of God. God can direct this flow wherever he wants. It's a good reminder to us uh, especially living in our difficult times when everything is up in the air, everything is uncertain. We remember that God is ultimately in charge. The second aphorism, all deeds are right in the sight of the doer, but the Lord lays his heart. So it is not enough then for our behavior which is our external behavior, to seem to be good, uh, God will read into our actions. He will see what is the inner intentions of our heart. So this is, of course, the reality that as human beings, we can always deceive ourselves about our real motives, but God will detect 
the ultimate motive, what is our basic motive in any action. St. Paul says to the Corinthians, I am not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted is the Lord who judges me. So we have to remember the Lord sees into the heart. Thirdly, to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. This is hearkening back to the prophets, especially the prophet Isaiah. We hear him write, it is love that I desire not sacrifice, knowledge of God, rather than holocaust. So to do deeds of righteousness and justice that is more acceptable to God than many sacrifices. If I were a Jew in the Old Testament times, I could become proud if I brought the most perfect animal without a blemish, whatever was going to be sacrificed, my animal is better than my neighbor's animal, my sacrifice is so much better, I'm so much better than my neighbor. So we can keep up pride in our sacrifice. But what God wants, of course, is deeds of righteousness, deeds of, uh, of generosity. Um, Jesus will say in the Sermon on the Mount, when we are offering an offering at the altar, we remember that we have something against our brother or sister, we must leave our gift at the altar, go be reconciled with our brother or sister, and only then um, can we go back and offer our gift. So to act in righteousness and justice, it means with my broader community, with my family, my relations, my broader community, this is much better. Then there's a fourth one, haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. We can think here of Jesus' frequent uh, condemnation of the Pharisees, that arrogance and pride are the sin of the Pharisee. Our greatest danger as believers is that we can turn into Pharisees, where we have haughty eyes and a proud heart judging our neighbor. And of course, to have an arrogance and pride is to trample on the dignity and the rights of others, and this is always wrong in God's eyes. As we return to our Gospel, thinking about Jesus and this new family that He creates by virtue of those who will now listen and act on His Word, we say, what is the end result? What is the future? What is the purpose of all of this trying to live a moral life? Remembering the aphorisms of the Book of Proverbs or other spiritual treasures, it is, of course, to gain the heaven with God. Because in baptism we are promised eternity with God. We might think of a few comments on our saints who have uh, been privileged to see a vision of heaven, people like St. Paul, etc. St. Faustina writes, Today I was in heaven, in spirit. I saw its inconceivable beauties and the happiness that awaits us after death. I saw how all creatures give ceaseless, ceaseless praise to God. This source of happiness is unchanging in its essence, but it is always new, gushing forth happiness for all creatures. St. Augustine says, There, in heaven, goodwill shall be so ordered in us, we shall have no other desire than to remain there eternally. St. Bernadette of Lourdes, my crown in heaven, should shine with innocence, and its flowers should be radiant as the sun. These are sacrifices. Sacrifices are the flowers that Jesus and Mary chose. And finally, St. Thomas More, Earth hath no sorrow that heaven cannot 
heal. We offer our prayers to the Father. God our Father, we ask in your mercy and love to hear the prayers we offer today. We pray for our city and the Talaha Amen First Nation suffering with this outbreak of the COVID virus and aftermath and for the restoration of good health among all citizens and we remember our parishioners who have the virus tested positive for their recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord we, we remember our sick, especially amongst our family, loved ones, fellow parishioners, we pray for those in their final days on earth. Uh, Lucille uh, Rivest, she is the sister-in-law of Giselle Bone of our parish and the aunt of Francois Rivest. And we pray for Mary Watson. We pray for the Lord. Lord we pray for the people suffering in the western U.S. with the forest fires and the wildfires raging and people who have lost their homes, for those who have died, that God may heal this tragic uh, situation with uh, weather that will end the fires and for healing for those who have suffered greatly. We pray to the Lord. For the needs of Assumption School, for the needs of Assumption CCD, we pray for the children who will receive their first Holy Communion this coming Saturday. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we bring before God our own special prayer. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God of the Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the grace of the Lord is for our good and all of the Church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your holy people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, when he was justly condemned in mercy to redeem him. 
through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virgins of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, have been our Lord, and our glory, O Son of the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
You have laid down your precepts to be carefully kept. May my ways be firm in keeping your statutes. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a visiting priest from Coquitlam, Father Claude. He is a French-speaking priest at Our Lady of Fatima in Coquitlam. He is originally from Congo, and he would be interested in hearing confessions. If there are French-speaking people, we will try to do that Friday morning uh, before the Mass. So I would ask Father Claude to be celebrant of the Mass, which will be in English. He does speak English. He's a hospital chaplain at Royal Columbian Hospital. But he will be here for French confessions Friday morning. We'll make him there at 8.30, have him there at 8.30 early. So if we could, uh, we know any French speaking people like Vianney and others, we can spread the word Friday, French confessions. There's something else I had to tell you about Friday also. In the evening, I will have Mass for the Desolate family. We have five little children to be baptized with the family of Luke Desolate. So I will have my Mass with that family Mass at 5 o'clock. The Father will do the 9 o'clock on Friday. St. Michael the Archangel, 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 the Archang